I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. So, we'll be starting uh, Medieval Dynasty next. So, this is a completely new game. I haven't played it uh, ever on for YouTube or recorded anything. Uh, but I have uh, played it pretty far progression. It's a good game. Um, there's tons of dynamics and mechanics and stuff like that. Um, you might have known it uh, way before, but um, it's quite improved over the uh, years, actually. So a lot of new sound effects. Sometimes you can find all these different things. So there's a straw hat here. What's in this bundle? So we got some rye, we might be able to sell that. And we'll take that straw hat. That might provide a little bit of uh, protection. Oh, there's a sickle here too. Okay, that will come in handy as well. Uh, sometimes you can find these little crash carts and stuff like that. So the first quest that we have is we need to go to town. Uh, we need to go to this town right here. Now they will be coming out with a update in the near future for um, basically a, a brand new map, which is co-op, but um, or multiplayer I think as well. But um, thought we would get started with uh, this this one because you guys voted for it and stuff like that so um let's see here we want to go this way so there
right, so currently I am building a house and it's going to take a little bit of time to do. So we need to basically build it from scratch and pick up these logs. We're almost encumbered here, so it's probably because I have so much inventory uh, stuff in my inventory. Okay, so then we have um, all this stuff that we need to um, collect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a lot of the stuff that we don't need at the moment. And we have some meat on us, which is good. We have some feathers uh, from doing that. That will come in handy for selling. Uh, we got the logs. And got an outroll. Some of this. This can probably be sold. We don't really have anything we can process it with just yet. Uh, sticks will come in handy later on the stones so we're going to need a lot of straw so what I'm gonna do is there is some straw that we can harvest um, if you hear my cat I'm not sure what's going on with him he's been a little bit noisy lately uh, we've been having um, maintenance repairing not really repairing well, I guess like replacing the balcony I don't know it didn't look like it really needed replacing but uh, yeah so they're all a little bit like uncomfortable and stuff from all the loud noises so we're gonna need uh, about 32 of these which I believe is for the roof normally I go with wooden roofs but this will do just fine it's part of the mission so be able to do that, no problem. No. Almost, there we go. And it looks like we leveled up as well. Alright, um, so <laughs> we're already ahead of the game. Build your first house, so we're already on top of that. Uh, sometimes you can find like little packages and stuff like this. Uh, there's some money in this one, so that was handy. Uh, you also start during the spring, and there's a lot of dangers around um, basically the valley. There's bears, um, boars, uh, I can't remember, Wyson, or I can't remember the exact name of it. It's basically a European buffalo. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, there's also some wild cats and wolves. Um, there's also other things like birds and uh, fish that you can also get as well. So foxes, Deer, moose, moose are passive actually, so which is kind of unrealistic, but <laughs> I'm not complaining, at least it's a food source. All right.
so I got done talking with, um, I can't remember his name. All these names for these people are really hard for me to pronounce. Uh, they're, I'm pretty sure they're medieval names. So, uh, we're going to need to eat pretty soon. Um, we did get some food from the tavern, uh, gifted to us. Uh, we do need to do some other things so uh chapter two uh survivalist we're gonna need to craft a stone knife wooden spear hunt a wild animal so that's gonna be fun we'll probably have to do a deer um kind of know where some deer are we'll have to see if we can't find one that's in a safe spot and um survive the next season so that will take seven days this is day one so we can sleep until next day easier to hunt during the day than it is during the night so uh, as far as food uh, we can eat that porridge just eat that porridge right now Put the bowl in here we can always sell the bowl later for some money back as well so that won't be good um, there's not a lot of food during the spring so what we're gonna need to do is probably build a farm um, now, in order to build a farm, we're going to need a spot to build it. And I think there's a lot of berries around here, so we don't need to worry about a lot of berries at the moment. But this little patch right here is fairly flat. Um, we could also... This back here is a whole bunch of clay that we can utilize, right? So I don't want to really build there. But all in here is really flat. And we can basically go ahead and build our farm over here, I think. Uh, we'll need to have to remove a couple trees uh, or try our best to work around it the best that we can. So, figure probably this one needs to go and this one. But at the moment, we just need to craft up a few things. We need a stone knife, so that's going to cost two stone. Uh, stones are a little bit hard to find in this game just because of the um, how sensitive the camera is but overall it's pretty good and then we're going to need five sticks so that's easy enough to do there's a whole bunch of sticks around here uh, we got four five or eight and then let's craft up the knife probably going to need a few spears as well Oh, for spears, we're going to need to chop down some trees, which is perfect.
Alrighty then, so I am going to remove probably these two trees and put the farm in here. Uh, we just basically use the shovel. As soon as you remove the stump, uh, this actually took me a, quite a while to figure out. But as soon as you remove the stump, the trees don't grow back. So there isn't actually any way to replant trees. Um, if the stumps are there, they will regenerate. But if not, then they don't generate at all. Uh, we can basically build a farm now, which because the area is cleared, we don't have any trees or any, anything in the way. We can go to the farming and then grab this one. And what we can do is we can go ahead and basically, uh, I'm going to start actually down here because then we'll be able to go up the hill. There's a little bit of a hill. It won't be too bad, I don't think. Uh, at least with the, the farming mechanics and stuff in this game, it's pretty good. So we want to go to building, farming, and then grab that. Uh, we'll start... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an awkward plot, I think. But probably go maybe eight. We'll do an eight by eight. And uh, next episode, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start farming in this area. So we'll need to build, um, basically hold the land and all that other stuff. So that that should give us a good starting farmland for crops and stuff and then we can sell excess um eventually we can build some more plots and stuff like that but uh right now that will do just fine anyhow if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out